I have another flashlight review for you. This time it is the TT20 tactical flashlight from Thrunight. If you're interested, keep watching. So before I begin, I just want to point out that this flashlight was sent to me for testing and review by Thrunight, and I did not pay for it. But I also want to point out that I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video. All right, so the Thrunight TT20 and TT standing for tactical with tail switch. And I'll talk more about those features in a minute. So it is listed as a tactical flashlight. And to be quite honest, for the most part, I'm not interested in tactical flashlights. My days as a patrol officer have ended and I don't have a need for that style of flashlight. However, when I looked at this, when it was offered to me, I looked at it and thought, you know, yes, it may be a tactical flashlight, but I see it as more than that. I see this as a great camping light that has tactical applications, and maybe that's the best way to describe it. And I'll talk more about the features that make it a great crossover between tactical and camping when we go down to the tabletop. So speaking of which, let's go down to the tabletop. There I will talk about the specifications for this flashlight, its modes of operations, and then of course we'll get outside and do some testing. So before we discuss the specifications and modes of operation for the TT20, I thought we'll take a moment to take a look at what came with it. So this is the box that it was shipped to me in, just a nice simple cardboard box, but inside we have a few items. So a warranty card and a bit of additional literature to go with the flashlight, the operational manual, of course, a nice thin uh, nylon case appears to be good quality. It has quite a wide belt loop on the back, and I say wide enough to be allowed on a duty belt, so this would have been worked out great. Um, one thing I will say about this, so we don't have to come back and say it later, is an option to take this on and off of my duty belt without removing everything else on the belt would have been a nice feature. And it's not super heavy duty, but you know, it certainly will hold, and it appears the the stitching is uh, uh, quite sufficient. Now, the D-ring is not something that I would have made use of on patrol. Uh, if I, anything, I might have hung something from the bottom of it, but not from the top of it. So it is a workable flashlight holster and it will work to go on a duty belt. And that's what you hope from, uh, or you're looking for in a tactical flashlight, but uh, it, it's nothing special, it's just good. Also comes with a lanyard, of course a USB Type-C charging cable, and the ever-present spare parts. And in this case, we have two O-rings, two charging port covers, and one tail cap switch replacement. All right, let's take a look at the flashlight. We'll go over some measurements and the like. So to begin with, the flashlight comes in at 5.35 inches, which is 136 millimeters. The width at the basal is 1.2 inches or 30 millimeters. However, the width of the wedge, rest of the body is exactly one inch or, six, or 26 millimeters. It weighs in at 6.3 ounces or 179 grams, and that's the weight with the battery in it as I measured it. It is an IPX8 uh, uh, waterproof, dustproof rating, which is to say that it will remain submerged at two meters for an hour and a half. And it has a fall protection of 1.5 meters. It comes with a through night 5,000 milliamp 21,700 21, battery, so a good size battery with lots of storage power in it for long run times. So before we look over the performance specs for the flashlight, let's just go over a few of the features of the flashlight. So this flashlight is operated from two points. The primary point of operation for turning the light on and off and going through its different light intensities is a side switch here, and it is the better of the style of buttons in that this is not the rubber capped on off button but the metal button which gives you a nice positive feel and click when you're turning it on and off and it does have the light uh, LED in the center of it which will indicate battery strength and recharging. It does have the other switch on the tail cap. Now this is a uh, 
on, off, and momentary on, off uh, for the turbo mode. So we'll talk more about how that operates uh, in a few minutes time. And it is still able to be used in a standing upright mode on a flat surface. It has a USB recharging port opposite the on off switch, which is a rubber cap. And I mentioned it does come with two spares. And there is a crenulated basil. Uh, this is one of those features that I find makes it a crossover between a tactical light and a camping or everyday use light. And that the, so the true tactical ones to have, tend to have very pointy, very sharp basils on them so that the flashlight can be used as an impact striking type of a weapon or even for use in breaking uh, glass in a vehicle or in some other structure. Uh, this is a very, very low crenulation. So you can see the crown there, very low. Not something that I would look at and have this scream weapon to me, which is just fine because those days are long gone, as I mentioned. So I'm not interested in, in that type of a feature on a flashlight. There is a two-way pocket clip with a deep carry. It can be used in either way. And what's nice about it, it is removable and it can be turned around and used in this uh, indicated groove right here. It has a good grip on the outside of the case. The knurling is just grippy enough that allows me to grab onto it without any fear of losing uh, purchase on it. Unlike another flashlight that I've used recently, I can operate this at least in the momentary mode with my thumb. And I mentioned before that hands are getting old, a little arthritic, and some flashlights I can't do that with, so it does work for this. And that's what, something I would have appreciated in my patrol days, is to be able to have that momentary on-off for searching, of course. All right, let's go through the performance specifications and how those different mode of lighting are reached. So it has a single primary switch on the side, as I mentioned a minute ago. This will allow you to access all the levels of lighting, including the turbo and strobe. So let's start out with the uh, Firefly mode. So in the off position or the off status, press down and hold on the light and you will get a very low intensity beam at 0.54 lumens, which will last for 64 days. This is great for lighting up the tent at night, possibly for reading, certainly for finding things, or if, and you could leave this on as a night light if you want to be able to find the flashlight in the dark. We'll turn that off now. I'm going to turn it on primary and I have it set at its lowest mode, which is 31 lumens and that will last for 90 hours. Now this has the through night infinity operation, which means if I hold the button down, it'll cycle up through to its highest mode. We'll allow it to do that and it will flash a few times. So now it is at its highest mode of 1468 lumens, which will last for 190 seconds before the heat protection circuit kicks in and brings it down to 654 lumens, which will last for another 235 minutes. Now, of course, with infinity mode, you can set it anywhere in between. So how long it will last at any of those settings is really dependent on the brightness, but there's no way of knowing for sure if you're in the middle or on the higher end or not. So let's turn the light off and turn it back on and you will note that it has memory for any of the settings, doesn't matter where it is at. Now with the light on or the light off, you can access turbo from the side with a double tap. And now at turbo, I've reached 2,526 lumens, which will last for 150 seconds before it drops to 610 lumens, lasting another 237 minutes. So turbo is very, very bright. Already though, I can feel the basal of the flashlight heating up, not uncomfortably so, but heating up quite significantly. Now again, from either turned on or turned off, you can access the SOS with three quick taps. Also a nice feature to have. All right, let's talk about the tail cap switch and uh, how it functions and what it will do for you. So the tail cap switch will allow you to access turbo regardless if the light is on or off. So I can do a momentary slight depression of the light and it will come on in turbo. Allow the camera to readjust or I can press it in 
all the way and have it stay on in turbo. But uh, of course, you don't. The best way to use a tail cap switch, at least in my opinion, is for that momentary type of on off so that you can uh, see what you're doing. If you're a patrol officer, you can search buildings or uh, illuminate a vehicle very quickly on the inside. Or if you're out in the woods and you hear that thing that went bump in the night and you just need to know what it is and you want all the brightness you can get, then of course you have this switch to access it. For me personally, most of my needs will be operated by using this switch on the side. All right, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to get outside with the Thrunite TT20 and do some demonstrations with it. And after that, we'll come back and I'll share with you some final thoughts. All right, I'm in the woods with the Thrunite TT20 tactical flashlight, one I prefer to call a nice camp light with the added benefit of the instant turbo access. I'm using the flashlight at its lowest setting on uh, the infinity mode. And you know, it, this is quite bright. It's almost bright enough, enough to navigate through the woods with, but I would probably take it up to a slightly higher level of, to, to walk out with. Uh, I can see two distinct patterns of light. There is a hotter center beam with it, and then there is some flood to either side. It's not a really wide uh, floodlight, but there is quite a bit of flood that, you know, that is sufficient at least to pick up movement on the sides. Funny enough, just as I turned the flashlight on, there was a small mouse running across the ground <laughs> in front of me, and I could pick that up even with the lowest intensity. Let's take it up to the highest intensity. Working its way up through, it'll flash. Oh, there comes Mr. Mouse again. And maybe he's drawn to the lights, or maybe there's more than one mouse. So that is, pen oh my Lord, I can see at least a hundred meters depth into the woods. I can see trees. I don't think I could see with just about any other flashlight I've used. Nice color rendition as well. Very clear, bright, cold white, giving me great color in the woods. A flying squirrel. Uh, there's something else I've seen tonight I haven't seen. Well, you don't see them if you don't go out in the nighttime, I guess. So a flying squirrel, that's very cool. Glad to be out here. Now let's just take it up to turbo. Brighter yet. And of course, keeping it on turbo is going to run out of battery time very quickly. But if you need that light, because you just heard that noise, this is the one to use. All right, so one of my final thoughts on the Thrunite TT20. Well, you know, this is not a flashlight I would have asked Thrunite to send me because, as I mentioned, yes, I am a retired police officer and I spent a lot of years on patrol, but I don't need the tactical capabilities of some of these design flashlights at this point in my life. Having said that, when I took a closer look at it, and I also realized that uh, some of my viewers out there would like to see some tactical flashlights being reviewed, I agreed to do so. And I'm glad that I did because what I found is that this combines some of the best of both worlds. It's not a compromise. It is in fact both worlds that combine together to create a perfectly good flashlight for either use, either being a tactical use or as a camping flashlight. As you can tell, even though it has that nice deep pocket carry, at this weight and this size, it's probably too big for ADC. Now, now, some people may want to EDC something like that in their pocket. I suspect those who require a flashlight for their work purposes beyond the tactical aspect wouldn't mind carrying this flashlight either in their pocket or in the, the supplied case for it. Um, you know, I, I'll put it this way when it comes to it as a tactical flashlight. This is something I would have loved to have had when I was in my patrol days. Uh, like I said, now it's not all that important to me, some of those tactical features, but it is a flashlight that I am glad I have for taking with me camping or even just throwing in my backpack on day hikes, knowing that if I need to reach for it, that it is there. The fact that it can be used as an impact weapon doesn't mean anything to me. Having said that, that momentary switch on the back of the flashlight is great for 
when it's dark and you just need to know now what it is that you just heard out in the darkness. The infinity lighting mode is kind of unique. Now you either like it or you don't. I happen to like the infinity mode because more often than not when I'm going to be using the flashlight it's going to be on off around the camp either that or I'm moving along the trail and it will allow me to set the intensity I need for the task at hand and just leave it there and turn it on and off. The strobe is something I may use, the turbo is something I will use occasionally, and the firefly is something I found I use more often than you might think inside of a tent. So all those features together, I find that this is a good camping flashlight, but it is also a good tactical flashlight. So for either use, if you're looking for a light that for either of those two uses or one that you can combine into one single use, then I think this is something worth looking at. Okay, that's all I have to say about the Thrunite TT20. If you have any questions on this flashlight or any comments, please put them in the comments section below. Otherwise, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.